Hello everyone, and welcome back to another video. So, remember when I made that automation video? It took me several months, but I finally cracked it. Now listen to me when I say this. I found out a way for the computer to detect images. And don't worry, I'm not going to unleash anything game ruining or game breaking. Maybe I have created an AI that locks onto players. It's much simpler than that. So how it works is that I'm telling the computer to focus on like one part of the screen. And while it's doing that, I'm also telling it to search for a certain image in one of the file folders that I have. And so far, I've only developed like one use for the image detection, and that's the altitude display. So let me jump on to Plain Crazy so I can show you all the things that I've come up with. So I'm back on the Plain Crazy server, and one example of using image detection is this very ugly ejection system that I've created. So let me hop onto the plane, increase throttle, and now that I'm in the air, I can finally show you guys how this works. So let me press D to activate the command. And what that does is that I'm just using image detection on the altitude meter, and the computer waits until I reach a certain altitude, which is 800. So let me dive down, and once I've reached 800, I get ejected, the parachute comes on, uh, I go into a deep dive, once I've reached 800, this thing ejects, the parachute opens, and I safely land onto the surface. And last but not least, image detection can also be used on rockets. So let me press D, and that'll tell the engine to turn on. And at a certain elevation, which is 1800, this thing will cut off, and now it'll begin its descent. And once you've reached the 1400 mark, it sets a timer for the engine. The landing gear goes down, the engine too. And there we go, a perfect landing for the rocket booster. Thank you all for watching this video till the end. It took me six hours to research image detection and, you know, coding all the scripts. I know that this was a very short video, but I'm still researching into these types of things and coming up with newer ideas. And I will see you guys in the next video.